computer education uh, 18 years back used to be considered as a luxury and i myself being from a very uh, challenging economic background i always had the desire to do it but then i realized that it is not something that i could afford so there was always a strong desire that whenever capable whatever i have learned in it if there is a possibility that i can educate people on what i know in information technology it can be brilliant i come from the rural area i know the importance of the quality education uh, which is to be given to the poor so we decided to start with the rural areas because india 70% of the population are in the rural areas and there is a immense potential to start and run such schools in the rural areas i saw there was a opportunity and there was a need uh, to uh, create an organization which will give a platform for various kinds of people uh, to experience adventure and be part of the outdoor learning process uh, so those are the three factors which really uh, came in uh, very well and that that became the pillars of uh, starting uh, uh, you know base camp adventures uh, over a period of time most children in villages in india actually don't have any children's books how can we get reading out to 640000 villages in india in children's languages kids from the smaller towns you know they are not really of any lesser intelligent uh, lesser intelligence compared to their city counterparts but uh, over time as they go along you know by the time they finish their schools uh, they have fallen significantly behind due to you know lack of good schooling and lack of good exposure i wanted to set up an exceptional quality school very high quality school which will give kids here a chance to compete on a level playing field uh, vis a vis their you know metro city counterparts for getting uh, teachers english speaking teachers to come down to this location exceptional quality teachers you need to really hunt for them in the metro cities and they need to come here and relocate uh, which is a bit of a difficult proposition because uh, you know for somebody to leave a metro city and uh, living be living here for a long time while we are taking care of uh, you know while we are providing excellent quality education in the school for 5 hours the rest of the 19 hours the kids uh, the, the kids have to spend at home and uh, often uh, parents have uh, quite outdated uh, notions about uh, what education is you know they they believe in rote learning they believe in uh, a lot a lot of their thinking is quite outmoded they are not really connected to what's happening in the world at uh, right now and what skills are required for uh, required for somebody to be successful so in addition to teaching teaching kids we have to do a lot of uh, education session with the parents as well so that's that's those are the two big challenges that we face in the rural areas if you go to any school and ask them why did you choose uh, the teaching profession as your career they will say that they have come here by chance not by choice so we want professionals who want to choose the education as the profession most efforts at getting reading to children across villages in india has been actually to create libraries for villages okay that's needed but the problem is it doesn't scale easily and you also have to motivate children to visit those libraries regularly now i'm not saying that that's not needed i'm just saying that something else is needed you don't get good people who uh, can be retained by you as faculty or as trainers so this is one challenge that we face where we try to uh, handle this challenge by recruiting people who we groom up over a period of 2 to 3 years and then we help them to get placed in other companies so they work with us for a limited period of time but we also ensure that during that limited period of time they impart extraordinary education to our students 
बिकॉज एज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी वर्क मोर ऑन सिस्टम्स rather than on individual capabilities of those faculties so they work as a particular system the opportunity is there but there is no no consolidation of the uh, services in this particular sphere uh, some of the biggest challenges we uh, face in this sphere is uh, in terms of uh, you know insurance in terms of risk management uh, in terms of uh, people who are available uh, for this uh, you know profession taking up uh, this as a, as a profession Uh, so there are there are every like any other industry it also has its uh, own challenges but what is additional to it is also the recognition of industry is not uh, had its fair share so it is uh, sort of a very uh, disintegrated uh, very uh, uh, small uh, you know pockets localized uh, industry as such uh, what really what we are looking at uh, as of now to create is to create the difference in terms of uh, taking all this into picture um, and creating an organization which will be able to serve the 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 objective and also the need which is there uh, in in the market only by building an exceptional quality school you can inspire the kids here to uh, be confident and compete on a you know level playing uh, field uh with the uh, with, with the external world in around 96 97 when franchising was a very unknown concept uh, i dwelled on that idea and i convinced people that here is a company which knows the business which has created a brand so why don't you join up with us open up centers by your investment and pay us royalty so the problem was money and we franchise and that is how we solved it what we are trying to eradicate is also the uh, lack of knowledge uh, also uh, one important aspect is that to look at india as a market children all over the world love to watch cartoons same thing in india if we could create animated stories with same language subtitling which is a very well researched innovation then actually it becomes a reading experience so with the animated stories that bookbox creates you can actually have the audio basically reading the story and them reading along with the subtitle i have decided to start a school start chain of schools in the rural segment basically to cater the needs of the community which is at the base of the pyramid base of the pyramid that community where they have lot of aspirations to send their children to the private schools but they don't have affordability to send their children to big public school which are in the city so they can't send there but their aspirations are very high set up this kind of schools in other places uh, we obviously need investor support and secondly uh, one big part of schools is uh, infrastructure you know why we are experts in the other part which is the teaching methodologies teacher hiring and training running the school we are not experts in acquisition of land we are not experts in you know constructing the building so uh, there are two areas where we are particularly interested you know we are hoping to get some help from the sankal forum is uh, one investor participation and second some sort of real estate partnership first heard about them first read about them i was so happy that there are such organizations who are promoting uh, medium sized companies like us because we will need expertise we will need technological backup we will need funding for expansion we will need people who will believe in what we are doing there is immense need to start such pop schools in each and every village but it requires very high investments and people like us cannot uh, 
start such schools without any major help from in investment companies. So Sankal Forum is very useful for organizations like us, uh, especially for expansion of our business. I think Sankalp is a great forum, probably the only forum in India that actually gets the investors, the people with innovative ideas and entrepreneurs, um, and the media together in the same platform. And this was really missing in the ecosystem. I wish there were actually more such organizations or more efforts even by Sankalp to actually seed this idea around the world. And I think they're already making that move, going to Africa perhaps, um, and, and there is a tremendous need. It's a matchmaking platform. Uh, it's, it's the shadi.com of uh, social impact investment. Organizations like uh, Basecamp gets an opportunity uh, to present their skills, uh, to present as an organization and to also meet up with investors uh, creating interest in the social uh, sector. Uh, uh, all the other sectors uh, get all the benefits possible, but in the social sector, uh, both in terms of funding, uh, in terms of uh, managing businesses, in terms of uh, providing some kind of mentorship is, is much needed. And I think uh, Sankal Forum uh, has provided that. We at St. Angelo's Computer Education are very proud to be nominated for the Sankalp Awards 2011. We at Sudhikshan Knowledge Solutions are very proud to be the nominees for Sankalp Awards 2011. We at Bookbox India are extremely proud to be nominees for the Sankalp Awards 2011. We at uh, Basecamp are proud to be part of uh, the Sankalp Awards 2011. We at Tavistry School are proud to be the nominees of the Sankalp Awards 2011.